Hey y'all, it's me again. So I've spent a lot of time going to various boat dealerships and looking online and doing a lot of research to try to find the right motor for this boat. I accidentally called the place called Outboard Direct this morning. Now I was actually, I had run across a website called Tohatsu, 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 Tohatsu Direct. Tohatsu, Tohatsu, anyway. Um, they had a 15 horse outboard that I could afford and according to what I'd read and learned from research I felt like it was going to be big enough and I basically was looking at buying one of those and my thinking was is I'm going to sell this motor, I'm going to sell that boat out there, I'm going to sell that canoe, I've got a 4x4 four four I'm going to sell and I've got a round bar I'm going to sell once I get the engine in it so I figured well I've got some money that I can afford to spend and uh, I may have to pay for it out of my savings and then reimburse myself later. But uh, I started calling around, I started looking, I was thinking I was gonna buy one. Uh, I actually went to a Tohatso dealer locally today and priced one, which it was like a thousand dollars more than I thought it should be or more than I expected to spend. And, and when I called this other place, uh, I learned a lot of things I didn't know. For example, you, you have a tiller steer engine like that one. See that one back there? It's got this stick on it. Well, this is called the tiller steer. And the tiller steer doesn't have a steering wheel. And one of the things I was trying to do is figure out how to put a steering wheel on this. But I also would like to be able to shift it and crank it and shut it off and everything from a control box up there like a normal boat. Um, and that gets very complicated to try to make all that work when you're trying to convert one of these. And, and uh, anyway, I, I, I had picked out a 15 horse Tohatsu that I felt like I could afford and I felt like it would work. And I was looking at and thinking about buying it. And I thought, you know, because this is someone online, I should call the company and make sure these are real people because there are scammers in the world. And sometimes you can you can buy something online from someone who's not even anybody that they say they are and they just take your money and you are just SOL, which stands for sure enough out of luck. So anyway, I called, I spoke to this very nice guy named Scott in Tennessee. Uh, he wasn't with too hot. Well, he was, he was with a company that sold outboards online. And he said they can only sell outboard engines up to a certain size and they can't sell remote controlled and by remote control that means you know how a boat has a little handle over here and you move it back and forth and it makes the boat speed up and slow down and change gears and all that well he said that they, they couldn't sell those online because boat companies didn't want people installing those who were not trained technicians or something along those lines but there was an exception and they had one in their warehouse left over from the big sale back before the fourth of july they had one white 20 horsepower suzuki remote control electric star pretty much everything i want and need uh, including the cables for the controls and everything uh, for less money than the guy at the Tuhatso dealership quoted me to buy one 15 horse tiller steer this morning. So let me say that again. They had a 20 horsepower electric start remote controlled outboard that they would send me for less money than I could get a 15 horse tiller steer from my local dealer. So I said, heck yeah, let's do it. So I talked to that guy for a long time. His name was Scott. What I'm going to do is at some point I'm going to make a video about this. And I wasn't going to do it today. I was going to wait till it came. But I'll go ahead and do it today. And I'll, I'll put up a little link uh, to their um, website so you can find it. But the bottom line is, instead of a 15 horse, I have a 20 horse Suzuki. And I think Suzuki is a good name in boats. In fact, we were talking a little bit about the warranty. He says all these Suzukis have a five-year warranty. I didn't know that. When I bought this one, I didn't. they didn't take any information. They didn't mention any warranty or nothing. But apparently all these Suzukis have a five-year warranty. So uh, I said something about the warranty. He said, well, it doesn't matter about the warranty because they don't break down anyway, which is just kind of like when I bought my Prius. You know, the mechanic told me, you don't have to worry about these cars. They, don't, they just don't break down. So I have... 
a 20 horsepower white Suzuki engine in transit that could be here in a couple days to go on this.